In this video, I'm going to show you how to route the Samsung Galaxy S2, the model number being the GT i9100M. This particular phone that I'm holding in my hand is the Virgin Mobile Canadian version, but this route method has been confirmed by many people in this forum thread to work for the Bell Canada edition as well, as well as the regular GT i9100, which is the international model. So it's been confirmed to work for the international version. Uh, the Virgin Mobile Canadian Edition and the Bell Canada version. I'll be listing those very specific models in the description below if you need to reference them again. Um, what else? You also need to be running Ice Cream Sandwich. This particular phone I'm holding in my hand is running Android 4.0.3. And to get all the boring warnings out of the way first before we continue, uh, please note that this is the uh, thread with the original instructions and files you need to download. So, if you have any questions and concerns, please comment them in here and ask in here because I'm not the developer. The developer is RackMat3. So, try to direct them at this user in this thread po uh, post first. Um, if you put in the description, I will do my best, but I can't guarantee I'll be able to help you because I'm not the developer. And the files you need to download is this one right here. Okay, the one I'm highlighting Clockwork via Stock Recovery. If that doesn't work, you can use this but one or the other will do. And then the second file you need to download is this one here, SU BusyBox Installer. So then, so like I said, to verify again, download this first, then this. Okay? If for any reason the links are no longer working, please notify me and I will re-upload them on a brand new link of my own and I'll post them in the description below. So, uh, the last warning, obviously the most important one, is by trying to tamper with your device, by trying to root it, uh, you could permanently damage it, so you're following the instructions in this video at your own risk. Okay? So the first thing you need to do is power off the device, after you copy those two files to your SD card. Uh, power off. Yes. And then we're going to boot into, <clears throat> excuse me, recovery. I wonder if it's easier to see if I do this, perhaps. Okay, the phone is off, so what you need to do now is hold down, I know you won't be able to see because it's a bit dark, but I'm calling them out loud anyway, hold down only the up volume button. So the up volume button, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Let me try to get this right, okay. So up volume button, home button, and power button, and hold them all together until I say so. Let go of the power button when the screen, this pop-up screen comes up. You can let go of the rest. This is recovery. Okay, so when you're in recovery, to navigate up and down, use the volume buttons up and down. And to select something from the menu, press the power button. So what we're going to do is select the second one, which says apply update from external storage. Press the power button to select it. You're going to go down to cwm.zip. Press the power button on it to select it. There you can see it's loading a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> you now have, um, well it's not touch recovery, sorry. I'm used to my own Galaxy S2 LTE. You now have Clockwork Mod. Okay, my camera would not focus for the longest time, so I had to <laughs> fix that up. Anyway, so we're in recovery. <clears throat> uh, sorry, Clockwork Mod. We got it up and running. That's the first step. So far, so good, right? Okay, so let's get root actually up and running with superuser.apk. So next thing we do is go down to the second option where it says install zip from SD card. Press the power button on it. Depending on where you put it, if it's on your, uh, if you have an external SD card, you're going to press the power button on the first option and look for the, the zip file. If you put on the internal SD card, as I have, you're going to go down to choose zip from internal SD card. And like I said, my camera's having trouble focusing, but I'm reading it exactly as I see, so you make sure you get it right. Go all the way down near the bottom and you're going to select <coughs> excuse me uh, su-busybox-installer.zip okay press the power button on it you're going to see a whole bunch of no's you're going to keep pressing the volume buttons until you see a yes press the power button on that okay everything's it has some prompts everything looks good to go now you're going to go all the to the bottom where it says go back press the power button it's the top thing that should be selected now says reboot system now press the power button your phone should reboot <clears throat> back into normal 
uh, Android mode. And what we're going to be looking for now is uh, we're going to be looking through the. Sorry, uh, we're going to be looking through the app list for the super user file. Basically, uh, by knowing that we have the super user app in the apps listing, we know that <coughs> it's rooted properly. And the battery's low, so don't worry about that. Uh, for just a forewarning, don't do this while your battery's low. I believe I have at least 15%, so it's good, but don't take that chance yourself. I'm a professional, or at least I try to be. No, I'm terrible at trying to be one too. Don't listen to me. Okay, so before everything can load, I want to show you so we don't waste time. Where are you, my little buddy? Oops. Okay, the phone has a mind of its own. Right here, they got a little eye patch. If you can see that, super user. You are now rooted. Everything's good to go. And <clears throat> everything I did in this video was my first attempt for this device because it is my cousin's device. Um, so as I showed you, it's simple. You can do it too, but like I said, you're doing so at your own risk. But, um, you know, if you want to experiment, happy modding. More power to you. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.